away and you're encouraged to stop at our guest center, which is out in the hallway right between here and the Wooddale Cafe. And I'd ask that everyone, including those that are new, uh, fill out one of the information cards from right in front of you and place that uh, in the offering a little bit later in our program. If you take a look at some of the ads that are on the back of the Wooddale Week, you'll get the idea, correctly so, that is the start up of the school year and lots of things happening. So, for example, on the bottom left, the Men's Fall Bible Study starts this Saturday. If you're going to come, you need to sign up. Today would be a good day to do it. On the 1st of October, our drama ministry will present The Sound of Music here on this stage, and tickets for that are available. Small groups, uh, this is 8 to 12 people that gather in homes for Bible study and building friendships. They're launching also with this season, and if you want to be part of one, then uh, get your request in. More information is available. Inserted in the Wooddale Week is a brochure that says one-to-one. -one. And what I'd encourage you to do is take it out, and please do not look in it, all right? Just save it in your hand for during the faith story, and then you can look at it. All right, just, just have it ready. ready. Okay, that's, we'll hold on to that. And if you want more information about this, by the way, there's a table out in the hallway by door number two. Throughout this year, we've been talking about generosity, God's goodness to us, and a lifestyle of generously blessing others. We're going to have a generosity fair next Sunday morning in the great room, and I invite you to come a little bit early or stay 10 or 15 minutes late, and it will be well worth your seeing. Some of it's interactive, and there are going to be displays, and it will be a fun and interesting event. So plan to just uh, add those few extra minutes on uh, next weekend, next Sunday morning. Also, when you leave today, you will be given an opportunity for generosity, and that is that there are grocery bags available with lists stapled to them, and the idea is to take one or several home with you, fill it up, bring it back, and then we will transport that to area food shelves. In the past, and we've done this many times, you have been among the most generous of anybody in the Twin Cities. Tons and tons and tons of food that have gone to area food shelves, and you know that in the midst of this recession, the demand is the highest it's ever been, and your generosity is really important. And now, for today's generosity moment, straight out of the Bible. The Generous Man. Jesus told this story one day. Once there was a man who was on his way to visit a town that was far away. But out of the bushes jumped some thieves. They didn't say thank you, they didn't say please. They took his things and knocked him down and left him bleeding on the ground. At last, a generous man came that way. He saw the man and decided to stay. He bandaged his wounds and gave him a ride and fed him some food and stayed by his side. And when the generous man went on his way, he came in his coins and paid for the stay. Do you still have that one-to-one -one brochure? Have it ready. But right now, connected to this, let's welcome Shelley and Andrea for the face. Story. 